many parts of the world, people are troubled by ants. Here at Tulik Lake, we are both troubled and pleased by the multiplicity of the fairy shrimp. They are thus named for they are fairy shrimpy. Also for their fairy-like movement. We see these winged beauties accelerating and decelerating with an elegance which begets elegance and violence among fish. They have been kept in this confined environment for approximately several days, several hours, more like it. And you'll notice their clockwise rotation. They choose to rotate this direction due to the Coriolis effect. Fairy shrimp in the southern hemisphere will turn the other direction. And we see there's a less a less uh, fortunate fairy shrimp being devoured by its counterparts. Life as a fairy shrimp isn't so easy. There also has been this troubling case a fairy shrimp which has taken a liking to a particular branch. It's not understood whether he's merely trying to imitate the Native American cocopelli or rather if he's trying to beat some of his mating competitors with an ugly stick so to speak. But there he, there he goes. These animals thrive in a fishless environment, but as soon as fish are introduced, their populations are quickly decimated and eventually destroyed. These particular animals' specimens were sampled earlier today from the lake NE9B. If this isn't true, then it's possible they were sampled from another lake. They've herded this the uh, detritus, or detritus as many speak, say up here at Tulik, into the center area where they will soon bed down for the night and breed. They love breeding. Thank you very much. Join us next time on Talking Tulik for other animals which rotate and love breeding. <laughs>